I bet Pastor Stuart Allen Clark is pissed at me. A week and a half ago, he very clearly auditioned for this segment, and it was one of the most impressive auditions I've ever seen. But I didn't do a twin last week, so he got left out. But, and let me be super clear here, it wasn't for a lack of misogyny. So first of all, Stuart Allen is his first name, which strikes me as bullshit right there. Pick a fucking name, dude. You have two names that could easily be reduced to a single syllable, and you expect a motherfucker to say out all four syllables? You ain't that important, Stu. Anyway, secondly, and far more importantly, Stewie earned himself a bit of unwanted celebrity a couple weeks back when a video of one of his sermons went viral. In the sermon, he implies that cheating husbands are the wife's fault for not looking better. He tells women they, quote, don't need to look like a butch, end quote. He says he put a weight limit on his wife that triggers divorce, and perhaps worst of all, implied that women should strive to be more like Melania Trump. Now, unlike most stories of pastors spewing unchecked misogyny, this one doesn't end in his promotion or a six-figure GoFundMe campaign. Yet. Instead, within 24 hours of the video going public, the church took down its Facebook page, deleted its YouTube archives, and announced Stu would be taking a leave of absence to seek professional counseling. Because apparently, just don't be an asshole was too much for him to handle on his own. But as inartfully as Stewie rendered it, it's not like his message is uncommon in conservative Christian circles. I saw a story a few days later out of Lubbock, Texas, where a high school chivalry assignment encouraged female students to dress in a feminine manner to please men, not to complain or whine, and to, quote, walk behind men daintily as if their feet were bound, end quote. And no, this wasn't just an explanation of how shit used to be. The students were asked to get signatures from adults verifying that they were behaving in a chivalrous manner and would get points on the assignments for every signature. So parents saw this assignment and rightly complained. After it was shared in a private Facebook group, it was replaced. But holy hell, how the fuck does it take parental complaints for a school to realize it's not okay to hand out assignments telling girls not to show intellectual superiority for fear of offending men and that, quote, ladies must obey any reasonable request of a male, end quote. Of course, we already know the answer to that question, don't we? And the answer is America. This is a country, after all, that wound itself into a state of frothing outrage when it came to light that the new Space Jam movie reduced the size of Lola Bunny's tits. And I guess expecting more from them was my own mistake. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.